What's up guys, it's just 4 here and welcome back to another video and in this video I am going to be showing you guys 5, no, 6 awesome awesome seeds for your bedrock edition worlds so let's get right in now this first one is really really awesome this is probably my favorite one out of the lot because first off right at spawn um the red the red bull is where you spawn you spawn right exactly on top of that spot on that tree right there if you were wondering right here you've got a beautiful birch forest with this lake right here and it is a really really beautiful birch forest got a bit a few hills a beautiful river and now of course that is not all you can just fly through the birch forest a bit as you can see it is absolutely huge right here you've got a mountain with some birch trees on it and over here a beautiful lake like imagine what kind of cool stuff you could build right here anyway you've got a dark oak forest right here and an awesome village right there and right here it doesn't look so big but it's actually pretty reasonably big because it stretches all the way over here right down here in the dark oak forest you've got a few pumpkins lying around and if you fly over here you've got a swamp and a witch hut which you could definitely turn into a witch farm and you know witch farms are really really awesome to have in your survival worlds next you have got a broken down nether portal right here there's no crying obsidian in it and it can pretty easily be fixed in this chest you've got a sword hoe leggings wooden steel fire charge the regular things now we can just fly over here and fly around back to the spawn point and as you can see this really is a beautiful beautiful place but right over here we do have the um, spruce forest and for the ones of you who don't know spruce is my favorite wood type and you've got some pretty neat hills right here there are definitely some pretty beautiful hills also some interesting ones like this one right here and that one right there also that was quite nice um, then right here you just have plateau pretty much a regular plains biome and so you do have surface lava right here as well but you also got this ravine over here which looks like it's just um, not such a good ravine but it's actually sort of a double ravine because you can go down here as well and it's like a ravine inside a ravine because you've got this area right here and this area right here so yeah and the ravine leads all the way down to Y level 17 and I'm sure that there's going to be caves leading off of that which are going to lead you to diamonds and then right here you can just fly back over the spruce forest and that is really it for this seed but it is a pretty awesome seed especially if you want to do some nice building in this awesome birch forest right here now anyway I will tell you the seed right now so I can just hit the settings and right here if settings wants to load um, here minus six eight to 40049 you can pause the video right here and note down the seed for yourself it's a really awesome seed yeah so anyway time to head on to the next one okay guys so this seed is mainly for all my builders out there because look at these mountains they are absolutely insane. You've got some really, really awesome mountains down around here, all covered in snow. You've got this wonderful area right here where you can make an awesome river or a ravine-like landscape. 
And look at the height of some of these mountains. I'm at Y level like 116 right here. And right here. Y level 128. That is insanely high. So these are definitely some insanely high mountains and a bit of weird terrain right there. <laughs> Anyway, these are some really, really, really awesome mountains. Now, once again, the red bull is exactly where you spawn, so right here. And if you walk a few blocks from there, you'll find this ravine. And this ravine is also quite large. Not so deep, though, but and you probably can't see anything right now because it's so dark. Um, anyway, if you fly over here, you do another huge birch forest which I'm a big fan of not using the birch wood as decoration but just because I think that birch forests look really awesome right here you have some surface lava I'm not sure that's enough to make um, another portal but anyway right here you do have a village and the smallest dark oak forest I have ever seen in my entire life Look how small it is. That is a really, really tiny dark oak forest, and as you can see right here, it does it does extend a bit, and then you have this wonderful area right here where you can make an awesome pirate themed build because the water just goes in right here. You've got the dark oak forests. And that's really awesome. Back there, you have even more mountains. Not as impressive as the other ones, though. And in the sea, I also found this. This tree, right? So, yeah. I've never seen one this high before naturally generate. So I'm, I'm really interested as to... Yeah, that might actually be something. Do you think that's like the highest one in the Minecraft, in the naturally generated Minecraft? is naturally generated. You can find the seed that I'm about to show you, and you'll see that it is just completely naturally generated. It's... yeah, that's real. <laughs> I have never seen something like that before, and over here you just got, you know, the regular plains biome, river. Not so. Interesting. Anyway, I guess that you guys want to know the seed now. So let's go get into things. And normally it goes a lot faster. I don't know why it's not going so fast. Anyway, we've got the C minus 508416089. Now, this is a really awesome C. So, yeah, go check it out. It's really, really beautiful, especially for if you want to build. I mean, just look at the watercolor right here as well. It's awesome. Now, I must say, this seed that I'm about to show you is awesome. Awesome to speed one out. As you can see, you spawn right here where the red bull is. And you almost fall right into this ravine right here. Then there is a bunch of um, surface lava right here, right next to spawn. You've got a zombie village right here, which is a reasonable sized village. I mean, it really, really is quite large. Then you can fly right here, and you've got a broken down nether portal in the lava. Now, I didn't know that the nether and lava mixed well, but anyway, you do have a golden block right there. And in the chest, you've got some golden horse armor, some, and some tools, and one piece of obsidian. Then you can fly over here, and there is a desert temple partially buried in sand. You've got a beautiful um, one of those biomes. I always forget what they're called. Savannah biomes right there. Right here, you've got an awesome ravine. So let's get the ravine cam going. That is ravine number two. Let's fly right over here, and if you're planning on playing in this world long term, We've got some ice spikes right here, next to the desert biome, and I must say, a beautiful watercolor right there. 
Then you can fly over this desert, which I guess is pretty much the biggest desert I've ever seen. I mean, it's huge. It stretches out in all directions, literally. Then, right here, we have a desert village, which is quite nice. And as you can see, we've got the desert village right here. And I only need to fly a tiny bit this way. And we will render our broken down village again. Next, we can just fly right here. And we should see our third ravine it's quite soon. There is a ravine right here. I'm not entirely sure where it went. And yes, we do have another desert village right here, right next to a desert temple, which is really, really awesome. And we can go check out the loot in that desert temple real fast. Let's get it down. Let me fill me in. Let's break the pressure plate. We got a protection one book, saddle, bunch of emeralds, gunpowder. Not all the good stuff, bunch of horse armor though, which is quite nice. Now, I'm not entirely sure where that ravine went, but we do have a, another broken in another right here. And in the chest, we've got an unbreaking 3 pickaxe, 5 protection 1 pickaxe, and efficiency 3 pickaxe, which is also some really, really awesome stuff right there. And I really cannot find that third ravine. Where was it? We've got a really deep hole right here, though. Didn't know that that was there. Um, okay, I officially cannot find that ravine. Anyway, there is another really, really close ravine. Oh, look. Here it is. There we go. We got it. We got it. There we got the ravine. Um, right next to this desert village. So yeah, guys, that is a really, really awesome seat. I really recommend it. It is awesome. And let's go check it out. So we can head into settings, let it load for a bit. <laughs> and then we can see that is 469-813293 is the seat. This is an awesome seat. And by the way, guys, I do have show coordinates on, so you can note down any place in here you want just by pausing the video and looking at my coordinates. Now, let's head on to the next seat. Now, before I head on to the next video, I just wanted to say that it would mean a lot to me if you just went and checked out my Twitch. My Twitch is just it's a 64 and then a small underscore at the end. The link will also be in the description and it would just mean a lot to me if you went and checked out my Twitch. Anyway, as I said, the next seat is going to be interesting and yeah, I think it's a really, really cool one. Now, if you've been playing Minecraft Bedrock for a decent amount of time, I'm sure you're going to be familiar with the official Survival Island seat. Now, this seat is Something a little bit like that. You have the, how do you call it? The island. If you've got the island, and you spot right here where the pillar of red wool is. Then right here, you've got that island. And if you fly over in that direction, you've got three islands. You have this island right here, that island right there, and that sand island right there. And that is really it. Also, these trees are the only trees that you get in a decent amount, in a decent chunk of area all around the whole place, which is also quite challenging. So you really need to collect those saplings. Anyway, you do have um, a few things under the water. As you can see right here, you've got one of these things with the two sea lanterns in it, if that interests you at all. And you've got some bubble elevators. I am... Um, okay. You've got a few more structures, none of them have chests or anything like that, though. 
And one of the other downsides is, you see, if you go mining, you're going to come across a lot of underwater caves. And they are pretty much my worst enemy in Minecraft, like those underwater caves. I really don't like those. Anyway, I guess we can take a look at the seed right now. The seed is going to be minus 2356439. Um, you can pause the video and note that down for yourself. Just, yeah, that's how easy it is. <laughs> or you can write it down right now. Your choice. Um, anyway, let's head on to the second to last C, I believe it is. Yeah, this was number four then. Now, some of you guys might recognize this C. Not just yet, but in a few seconds you might will and i'll explain why after first i will just show you guys a few things so if you fly this direction then you will find a witch hut and it's somewhere here where did it go that means it should be over here no you do have another one of those weird um long tall mushroom trees where did the witch hut go i'm serious I know there's a witch hut right here because I use this seed myself, but oh, that's stupid of me. I can't seem to locate it. That means the witch hut's right over there. Okay, I am sorry about that. Anyway, there is a witch hut here. Um, there it is. There we go. Here's the witch hut. There it is. Then, right over here, you have pretty much the biggest um, swamp biome I've ever seen. Like, the swamp biome switches all the way that way. And you can fly around here. And the swamp continues. And it is completely huge. So, if you're looking for an awesome swamp themed build, build it here. Look no further. Anyway, the reason why some of you guys might recognize this seed, oh yeah, there is a ravine right here as well. Quite a nice ravine, this one. Anyway, um, the reason why some of you guys might recognize this seed is because I use it for my ultimate base guide. There will be a link to, the, to that series down below as well. And by the way, that's, that's the spawn point right there, Red Bull. Um, the reason I use it is because this is such a beautiful seed if you fly over here. Because as you can see, you've got a lush green savanna biome, which is really, really beautiful. I built in this area right here, where you have this beautiful lake. And of course, the lush green savanna biome, which is absolutely insane. And you also have a spruce forest right there, which is by chance my favorite wood type. You've got quite an awesome mountain right here, which you can also use as division between this part and this part. So you can build something over here without seeing it there and something over there without seeing it right here. Um, anyway, then right here you do have a village and some pumpkins right there on that mountain if that interests you at all. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this seed, but yeah, I I definitely use this seed. It's awesome. I love the lush green savanna. I really, really like that. And the watercolor right there as well. You can, yeah. This, this is exactly where I built. And it's, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. I do also highly recommend for you to go check out that series. There will be a link to it down in my description. It's the ultimate base guide if that if you think that interests you, go check it out, because it is quite awesome, really. Um, and now I believe it is time to head on to the last seed in this video. Oh, wait a second, I'm being stupid. I'm almost forgetting to show you guys the seed. The seed for this is 400-368. Two, six. That is the seed. Go check it out. It is awesome. Anyway, time to head on to the last one.
So want a real challenge? This one's a bit like the last one, only there are no trees on any of the two islands. And that is a challenge. So it's another one of those survival island seats. But anyway, if you head into the water, you've got a massive coral reef, which is really beautiful. And that is one of the other reasons why I thought this was such an amazing seat. Is because you got the beautiful coral reef right here. So yeah, and there's actually two shipwrecks. You've got one shipwreck right here with a treasure map and some other pretty decent stuff. And that would be your way to get your first wood. The way to get the wood would be to get it from the shipwreck and then to venture out and gather some saplings and some wood. So also if you're if you want to do some creative building and need a coral reef, this is a humongous coral reef, which will be really, really interesting. As you can see right here, right here there is another shipwreck, if it will let me in. And right here you've got the chest with another treasure map. Now let me check, I'm not entirely sure but I need hand, but I know for a fact that in my own world, one time I found two shipwrecks, I was really really happy, I hadn't been playing Minecraft for so long, and the treasure maps both led to the same treasure. I'm not sure if that's still possible nowadays, but let's take a look. So that treasure is in that direction, that treasure. Okay, they're in completely different directions, which is really really nice. Just wanted to make sure. Anyway, I also really love the color of the water here. It is absolutely insane. Now you can see I can also fly this way and there's only a bit of sand. Which is not so interesting because there aren't any um, trees on there either, is there? So yeah, this is a really, really awesome seed if you really want to give yourself a challenge. Or just do some creative, wonderful building in the coral reef. So, I guess it's time to look at that seed we got, am I right? Well, the seed for this is 109-191-2512. Now, this feels like a good time to mention that all the seeds mentioned in this video will be put down in the description for you guys as well, if you don't feel like pausing the video and looking at them there. So. Anyway guys, I really really hope you enjoyed, if you liked, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let me know if you have any suggestions, um, I'd be really really happy to hear your suggestions on any type of video that I should make in the future. Anyway, I really really hope you enjoyed, hope to see you in the next one, bye bye!